Hello students. In today's class, we will take up history unit six. The name of the chapter is the first war of Indian independence, 1857. In this chapter, we are going to learn about the reasons for the first war of Indian war of independence 1857 the immediate reasons for the mutiny scope and nature of the mutiny failure and results of the mutiny in order to extend their rule over India the British brought in policies of subsidiary alliance and the policy of doctrine of lapse. As a result, numerous states became part of the British Empire. This made many Indians unhappy. People were also upset with the administration of British. This unhappiness erupted in the form of a major protest against the British in 1857. Many of the Indian historians termed this as first Indian freedom struggle but the English historians termed it as the Sapai Mutiny. Reasons for the first Indian freedom struggle Political reasons Due to the doctrine of lapse implemented by British many Indian kings had to lose their kingdoms. As a result of this policy, Satara, Jaipur, Jhansi, Udaipur and many other states became part of the British Empire. Lord Dalhousie abolished the kingships of Tanjavur and Carnatic Nawabs. The British dethroned Mughal kings and many other kings. As a result, many soldiers depended on these kings became unemployed. This became the main reason for the protest against the British. So political causes, political reasons for the first Indian freedom struggle. Economic reasons or economic causes. Due to the development of industrialization in England, the Indian handicrafts and industries diminished. England, apart from being an industrialized country, became a workshop of industries. The artisans of India became unemployed. The weavers became the first victims as wool and cloth making industries suffered a lot. The Indian handicrafts became financially pathetic. Industrialization in England Handloom industries Wool making, wool weaving and artisans. Artisans are those skilled workers who produce many things by hand. They are called artisans. They have plenty of skill. So as a result of industrialization in England, our weavers, wool making industry and artisans, all of them suffered a lot. The British levied high customs on Indian goods entering the market of England. Due to zamindari system, the farmers exploited by zamindars. Land tax collection rates were awarded to talukdars were also withdrawn. By farming inam commissions, inam lands were also withdrawn. Here, Inam lands refer to 
those lands which were owned by landlords who had received that land or so much of land as inam as gift from earlier rulers so inam commission was appointed they took the statistics of those people who are holding inam lands or gifted lands and all such gifted or inam lands were withdrawn or taken back from the owners as a result the farmers had to undergo a lot of economic hardships and they felt insulted hence the farmers also protested all this the zamindars the zamindar system introduced put the farmers into great hardship the talukdars who were earlier collecting revenue it was abolished and by forming an inam commission all the inam lands or the gifted lands were withdrawn by the british government administrative reasons the british brought in many civil and criminal laws into effect but in the implementation there were lot of partiality the new laws that were introduced applied to indians in a different manner english became the language of the court the english judges gave judgments in favor of the english people did not like the new laws these are the administrative causes or administrative reasons british introduced many civil and criminal laws into effect but when it came to the implementation the british showed lot of partiality the laws applied in a different manner to the british citizens in a other different manner to the indians the laws applied to indians in a different manner and english became the language of the court all transactions arguments everything in the court became english and new english judges were appointed in the courts and these english judges always gave judgment in favor of the english people and the people did not like the newly introduced laws english judge he always gave judgment in favor of the english people not in favor of the indians so indians did not like this military reasons the condition the situation of the indian soldiers in the british army was very pathetic you know in the british army there were both indian soldiers and the british soldiers but the condition the situation of the indian soldiers in the british army was very pathetic they did not have the status salary and promotion prospectus that of the british soldiers in the british army the indian soldiers did not have the same status as that of the english soldier the indian soldiers got salary less than the british soldiers and promotion opportunities promotion prospectus for the indian soldiers were not equal to the english soldiers so the indian soldiers did not enjoy good status they did not get equal salary and they never had any promotion opportunities like that of the british soldiers the pressure put on indian soldiers for overseas work triggered resentment among them 
due to their religious beliefs. At that time, the British had their colonies all over the world. So, wherever any war took place, wherever there was a necessity of any soldiers, the Indian soldiers were asked to go travel overseas and reach those countries. So, while traveling they had to travel by sea and Indians were pressurized, they were compelled to travel overseas, travel by ship, reach those countries. This triggered a resentment. The Indians did not like going overseas due to their religious beliefs. At that time, crossing the sea and going to another country was forbidden according to Indian religion. So this was the military reason, military causes. The Indian soldiers condition in the British army was pathetic. Their status was below the status of a British soldier. They got very less salary when compared to that of a British soldier and Indian soldiers never had any promotion opportunities. All the promotions went to the British soldiers only. Added to this, the Indian soldiers' religious sentiments were hurt when they were forced, when they were pressurized to travel and work overseas to go and serve in a foreign land. This hurt the religious sentiments and hence the condition of the Indian soldiers in the British army was pathetic. Beginning of the mutiny and its spread. The Indian soldiers who were present in large numbers in the British army believed that they can throw away, they can drive away the British if all of them become united. So Indians believed that because they are large in number in the British army, they had believed that they can easily throw away the British, they can easily drive away the British if all of them become united. In this situation, the British started providing Royal Enfield guns, a new type of gun, improved guns. So a new type of gun called Royal Enfield was being provided to the soldiers by the British. Around the same time, a rumor spread that the bullets of these guns were smeared with the fat of pig and cow. The cow was sacred for Hindus and the pig was prohibited for Muslims and this became the immediate cause for the mutiny. Students, this is a important question from the examination point of view. What is the immediate cause for the revolt of 1857, the first war of Indian independence of 1857? Immediate cause. You see in this picture, the newly introduced gun or rifle and this has bullets or cartridges and when these cartridges were to be loaded the top of that cartridge were to be opened by biting it by teeth by biting it by mouth the rumor was that these cartridges were applied they were smeared with the fat of cow and pig and for Hindus, cow was very sacred and for Muslims, pig was prohibited. So this became the immediate cause for the mutiny or the revolt of 1857. You look at the rifle, newly introduced Royal Enfield rifle and the cartridges which were used and these cartridges 
the top of which before loading had to be opened by biting them with their teeth. So when they bite the cartridges, the fat which was smeared, cow and pig fat, it will come to come into contact with their mouth and lips. So this became the immediate cause for the mutiny or the revolt of 1857. This rumor caused a lot of unrest in Barakpur military soldiers. In West Bengal, near Calcutta, there was a military regiment at Barakpur. So the rumor of the newly introduced Enfield rifle and the cartridges which were smeared with the fat of cow and pig, this information reached the military soldiers at Barakpur and this rumor caused lot of unrest, unhappiness among the soldiers. When the soldiers were directed to load the bullets to the gun by chewing off a part of the bullet, the soldiers refused to do it. Then the soldiers one morning when they were asked to load the rifles by biting the bullets, the soldiers refused to do it. The soldiers of Barakpur revolted against the British officers. One soldier, one brave soldier by name Mangal Pandey shot dead a British officer. Therefore, Mangal Pandey was arrested and after a trial in the court, he was sentenced and hanged to death. You can see the brave Indian soldiers in the Barakpur army and because he shot the shot dead a military officer, British officer, he was trialed in the court and later he was sentenced to death and Mangal Pandey was hanged to death. The revolt which started started spreading across different states. The spread of the mutiny. Meerut was a major military base. The Indian soldiers stationed here also refused to use the bullets of the newly introduced Royal Enfield guns. Because they refused to use the new guns, many soldiers were arrested. This led to mutiny in Meerut also. The soldiers barged into the prison and released the imprisoned soldiers. This became the seed for the Indian Freedom Movement. A group of soldiers reached Delhi from Meerut. They entered the Red Fort and declared the Mughal King Bahadur Shah II as the Emperor of India. Due to various reasons, the protesting soldiers reached Delhi, the protest became intensified and the mutiny, the revolt spread like a wildfire to Delhi, Kanpur and Jhansi. You can look at the map of India, the places which are underlined are the places where the revolt took place, the revolt spread. On top you can see Meerut and below that you can see Delhi and below right side you can see Lucknow and below that you can see Kanpur and again next to Jhansi and this side extreme right 
you can see Barakpur. So the, the revolt started at Barakpur, where Mangal Pandey shot at the British officer. He was arrested. He was trailed in the court and he was sentenced to death. The same incident took place in Meerut also and all the soldiers were released from prison and all soldiers marched to Delhi then Lucknow, Kanpur and Jhansi these are the places where the 1857 revolt took place on the top right hand side you can see the soldiers marching to Delhi, Red Fort and below is Bahadur Shah, the last Mughal emperor who was declared as the emperor of India by the revolters. In Kanpur, Nana Saheb of Kanpur rose in revolt. And uh, Nana Saheb was the adopted son of Peshwa Bajay Rao II in the Second and Third Anglo Maratha War. We have read that Peshwa Bajay Rao II fought against the British. He was the last Maratha Peshwa. And Nana Saheb was the adopted son of Peshwa Bajay Rao II and Nana Saheb rose in revolt against the British in Kanpur. Tatya Tope was his assistant. In Jhansi, Rani Lakshmi Bai provided leadership to the revolt. Tatya Tope came to the support of Rani Lakshmi Bai after the fall of Kanpur to the British. You can see the picture of Nana Saheb who was the leader of the revolt in Kanpur. Tatya Tope was his assistant. After the fall of Kanpur, Tatya Tope arrived for the support of Rani Lakshmi Bai in Jhansi. Later, the protest spread to Lucknow. But finally, Lucknow also fell into the hands of British. Now, the freedom struggle spread to the south of River Yamuna. This influenced the soldiers of Rani Lakshmi Bai. Rani Lakshmi Bai was the queen of Jhansi. Rani Lakshmi Bai, who was angered by the doctrine of lapse, declared war on the British. Rani Lakshmi Bai, with her army, captured Gwalior. She died a heroic death while battling the British in another battle. So, while fighting the battle, Rani Lakshmi Bai died a heroic death. Even today, Rani Lakshmi Bai has a special place in the annals of Indian freedom struggle. Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi, she fought heroically in the battlefield and she died while fighting in the battlefield. Reasons for the failure of the mutiny. This is another very important question. What are the causes for the failure of the mutiny? What are the reasons for the failure of the first war of Indian independence 1857? Reasons for the failure of the revolt of 1857? The first war of Indian independence failed due to various reasons. It did not cover every part of India. We know the revolt took place only in few places that too in the northern and eastern part of India. The revolt did not 
cover every part of India. It was mainly concentrated on the issues of the rights of kings and queens rather than liberation of the country. So the motive of this revolt was not liberation of the country but it was concentrated on the issues of rights of the kings and queens. As it was not a planned mutiny, there were many unexpected results. The revolt unexpectedly took place and it was not a planned mutiny. So there was no planning. Therefore it brought unexpected results. The unity among British and the disunity among the Indian soldiers resulted in its failure. There was no unity among Indian soldiers whereas there was absolute unity among the British. The mutiny lacked a direction and leadership. There was no proper direction and there was no good leadership. The Indian soldiers also lacked a discipline and organizing skills. There was no discipline, there was no organizing skills. The Indian soldiers lacked military strategies, planning capabilities and soldiering skills. These are very much required in any war, in any big mutiny. They had no plan, they had no capability and they lacked skills. Freedom officers lacked definite aim. They did not have a definite goal, definite aim. Many of the Indian kings extended their loyalties to the British and did not support the freedom fighters. See, this uh, mutiny was by Indian rulers, Indian kings. But there were many Indian kings who did not support Indian freedom fighters whereas they extended their support, they extended their loyalty to the British. Our own people did not support Indian fighters and our own kings, some of them, supported the British. The plundering and other crimes committed by the Sipais made them to lose faith among the common people. Plundering. Plundering means looting. Our soldiers during the revolt started looting many tre treasuries, banks, finances, etc. Because of that, common people lost faith in them. So loss of faith among common people also led to the failure. Results of the mutiny. Effects of the mutiny. The revolt or the mutiny had far-reaching effects. After the revolt, the governance of East India Company came to an end and the governance of British government started. We know that East India Company was governing India and the East India Company governance came to an end and in its place in its place the British government governments started so is governance of East India Company ended and the governance of British government started the administration of East India was handed over to Secretary of State Indian Affairs of the British Parliament. Now instead of East India Company, the administration of India was taken over by the British government and the administration was handed over to the Secretary of Indian Affairs in the British Parliament. After the revolt, the Queen of Britain passed a declaration in 1858 and that declaration had the following aspects.
agreements entered by the east india company with the local kings were accepted non pursuance of regional expansion providing a stable government for indians equality before law there is no partiality equality before law non interference of the government in religious issues non interference of the government in religious matters of indians and practicing religious tolerance these were the items included in the declaration made by the queen of england in 1858 the british realized that unless and until they command the love and affection of indians ruling india would be a difficult proposition so they realized that now if they want to continue ruling india what they have to do is they have to command the love and affection of indians and without that ruling india would be a difficult task a difficult job the inability to listen to the voice of indians was considered as the main reason for the violence the british did not listen the british did not care to the voice of indians and this was considered as the main reason for the violent activities that took place hence therefore the british decided to involve the indians in the process of legislation and implemented the policy of association what is meant by policy of association the british decided to involve the indians in the process of legislation in the government legislative bodies and therefore they implemented the policy of association they started associating associating indians in the legislative bodies and this process was called the policy of association the first war of indian independence is like a guide post of future struggles after this many future struggles took place so this became a guiding post this also outlined the importance of seeking alternative channels to pursue future struggles against the british the indians also learned a lesson regarding what method should be adopted this is not the method because they revolt failed because of many reasons and the indians learned that this is not the way we should go in for any struggle we must find out other alternative methods to pursue to continue our future struggles against the british children that is the end of this lesson and let us see what is the assignment today again there are five questions and all these questions have either appeared in the previous public examinations or in the model papers given by the department question number 1 why did indian soldiers oppose the use of royal enfield rifles or guns why did indians oppose the condition of indian soldiers in the british army was very pathetic justify how did the political factors provoke the revolt of 1857 explain the causes for the failure of the first war of indian independence of 1857 causes for failure how did barakpur became become the outbreak of 1857 revolt explain 
So these are five simple questions. Answer these questions and practice these questions. Students will come up with another lesson in our next class. Till such time, take care of yourself. Thank you very much.